November 2000 and England welcomed the world champions Australia to Twickenham. 75,000 were in fine voice as Clive Woodward was looking for his first win against the Wallabies. The World Cup winners had won their other two autumn internationals against France and Scotland and were strong favourites to retain the Cook Cup. Phenomenal record. They live life on the edge though, don't they? George Smith there, the new youngster, got there first but he couldn't retain the ball. Here's Cat. England must take advantage of this. Men over. Took an age to get to Healy. Australia just did enough there to slow the move. Wilkinson with the drop goal. I think he knew advantage was being played and he had a free shot. Meticulous, exact and through. Somehow England have to find a way through or round, but they're going well. Healy was shaping for a drop goal. It was a decoy, Perry. Bracken once more, out to Mike Cat. Greening, this is good from England now because Brewcock has got the overlap out wide. Tindall onto Neil back, and that is a crunching tackle from Mortlock. The question, was it too high and dangerous? Sterling Mortlock, back slow. Mortlock, is that swinging? I think Neil back ducks down and I think Mortlock has a a case to argue in his own defence here. Well, some things in life are never in doubt. Pick and drive from the Australian forwards, now it's accordingly. Nathan Gray. And it's the setup from midfield and George Smith. That was rugged work from the new flanker in this side. That's better from Australia. Gray's long pass this time, goes out to Burt. Oh, in the space here, lots of it for Roth. He's seen off one, can Joe Roth go? Little ball inside, it's Matt Burt, and it's Australia's try, the first one of the afternoon. But the chance was there, and the mark of a great side is that you take that chance. Uh, Joe Roth started it with a break, a lovely handoff, and look at the awareness there. Burt on hand, right wing to left, that is class stuff from the world champions. Joe Roth, so aware, wasn't going outside Perry. Look at that little slip ball between the half-backs. Accordingly, turns it back inside to Kefu. Everybody down, no advantage. Phil Vickery playing the ball on the floor. It's such a tight game. Worrying moments these for England. It's a good strike from the boot of Matt Burke. Australia and Burke up to 19 against England's 12. And in the din of Twickenham, Burke's voice was audible. And Roth oh, has what? sliced this. What has he done? Could be unforgivable. Bolshaw. Still Bolshaw. Opening up a little bit for him. Needs to cut turn back inside to the forwards. Dawson, Cat. How did Roth ever miss that touch? Wilkinson on the floor, hands from both sides all over it. England are going to get a penalty. And I think we could have another yellow card. The indication there from Andre Watson with the arm was that an Australian was about to be penalised, and it's the Simbin as well. 15 v 13, four points in it. What a game. Dawson, Johnson. It has to be keep ball now. This must be the final move. Bolshaw over the top. Bolshaw is going. And Lewis has got it down. My first reaction is try. It's going to go to the video ref. Does the left hand of Luger control it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll leave it to Brian Sterling. Okay, tell me when I can go, Brian. Brian Sterling, come on down. We're ready for the camera. The pressure was there. Did he control it? Yeah, that's fine, Brian. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Brian to tell me, okay? Well, now you know.
There's surely no time left after this kick. Australia know it. They're almost in a huddle, ready to leave the field. Wilkinson aims towards the post. It goes straight through. England have won. They've got that victory that meant so much. Victory over the world champions. And to English supporters, that will sound so sweet. A scintillating test match and England's first win against Australia since the 1995 World Cup and a taste of things to come from Clive Woodward.